Hello, hello, this is Belinda Pearl. I thought I'd drop in. This is Friday afternoon, the day ruled by Venus. And we are in preparation for the full moon, which is coming soon on the 11th. And it's all about the full moon in Libra. So there'll be a lot of balancing with inside of ourself. And there's a lot of planets still in retrograde. And Mercury goes into um, station on Sunday, the 9th, and then... Um, Full retrograde, so expect things to be a little um, complicated or um, a little communicative issues will come up or technical issues, but that is irrelevant for right now. And so, what I really wanted to talk about was about being in the flow, and it's always um, an interesting thing because it always comes up in one's life to be in the flow and not to resist what the change is or the shift is. And today was a perfect example of just allowing the flow to happen no matter what. When um, we are presented with a change, even if it's the most unexpected change, it's really to think about um, how we can adapt ourselves and be flexible to that shifting change. And when we are in accordance or in congruency with the cosmic shift or with the cosmic change, then we can really start to... Um, um, bring that into our life too and so it's we can see how we can become more and more adaptable by just being with the flow so I have a small or short meditation for us to do just so that we can get more attuned to um, the cosmic change and because we're in such a flow-ish time and change is happening all around us and we've just been through this rebirth into the spring equinox and that energy is still taking us forward so let's take a moment chat to close the eyes and center our mind upon our breath. So wherever you are in your breath cycle, just express all the breath completely out. So that next inhale is a fresh, full, deep breath. And maybe exhale out through the mouth, just letting everything go. Another deep inhale through the nose. And then again, out through the mouth, just let everything go. And one last deep cleansing breath like that, in through the nose. And out through the mouth, just allowing everything to settle with inside of yourself. And as you sit here in this place and in this space, just bring your awareness to the center of your heart. And ask yourself, for right now, in this moment, wherever you are in time, is to just ask yourself what would be a brilliant intention for yourself. What would give you that balance that you need so as we go into this full moon energy, we can find the balance with inside of ourselves and not be resisting the flow that is inevitably going to happen because the universe is always in change. So just take a moment here to center into your heart center and see what comes up for you and try come from the heart and not from the mind and maybe it's a pearl of wisdom that just drops in there and you can sense your awareness upon that and as you center your awareness upon that space just imagine yourself walking out in life and maybe along a beautiful stream or next to the ocean or a river some kind of body of water that's kind of flowing just either past you or if it's an ocean in and out. And as you stand there, wherever you are in that space in your mind, in nature, you just watch how, how Mother Nature loves to just flow with ease. If you're by the ocean in your mind, you can just watch how the waves come in and the waves go out. Or if you watch the stream or the river, how the water just kind of flows past you. And then if you look around, if there's anything that feels like it or seems to be in resistance to the flow, whether it's inside of you or in something that just pops up into your mind, just allow yourself to place that in that body of water and just watch how it catches the ebb and flow. So if it's something of resistance, just place it there in the water and just watch how it begins to ebb and flow. If it's in a river, see, watch it kind of just flow down the river until it's out of your sight. And if you buy the ocean in your mind, just watch how the waves bring it in and then out. And each time taking it further and further and further away from you. 
eventually completely out of sight. And then you can watch yourself just in the water there, you maybe take a step into the water and just feel how the waves or that stream or that river just kind of flows through you and over you and taking away anything further that you no longer need. <clears throat> And just feel that natural flow of the water, how it seems to just take away those bits and pieces that you're willing to let go so that you can really step into the flow of life. And now imagine yourself laying on your back in the water and magically you can float. And so as you lay down in the water, you feel there's zero resistance. And your body, your mind, your spirit, your soul just seems to flow with effort, effortlessly and easily down the river or on the waves of the ocean. And this sense of soothing, just allowing, just being present with this effortless flow of coming in and out, receiving and giving. That is the flow of life. And just literally feel yourself flow away from all these things that have been harboring on your mind or have been keeping you where you are and you're not allowing you to move forward. And just allow your mind, your body, your soul just to effortlessly flow easily away. And there we go. And with a sense of flowing, flowing through you and in you and around you, take through this week, this sensation just of allowing everything to flow with ease around you, effortlessly. As you center yourself back onto your breath, just feeling your mind, feeling your body, feeling your spirit all encapsulated in this beautiful bubble of healing light. And as you breathe a little bit deeper, you bring your awareness back towards your body, feeling yourself grounded, feeling yourself present. And when you're ready, just flutter your eyes open, breathing in and breathing out. And just seeing how you feel right now at this time, if there's anything that shifted or changed. And if you feel that something has changed, leave a comment below or even um, yeah, leave a comment below and make sure you subscribe to my channel. I would love to do another meditation with you sometime in the near future. So again, my name is Belinda Pearl. And you can find me at liveanilluminatedlife.com. If you enjoyed this meditation, please make sure you leave a comment below. See you soon. Bye-bye.